Hello guys, welcome to our new video. Today at Talent Battle, we have with us Miss Shri Nicha, who has just been placed at Oracle with a package of 8.8 LPA. So, good evening, uh, Shri Nicha. How are you feeling today? Yeah, thank you, sir. I'm I'm feeling great. So, uh, we congratulate you from whole team of Talent Battle. We uh, we thank congratulate you, you, you on getting placed yeah. in such a big MNC. Thank you very much. So Shinija tell us something about yourself first of all like your academics yeah. your background everything you want to share you can share with us today Yes yeah, sir sure. uh, I am Shinija I live in Varangal in the state of Telangana and currently I am pursuing my graduation from Kakatiya Institute of Technology and Science Varangal in the stream of computer science and engineering with a CGPA of 8.8 Great and I'm good in programming languages like C, C++, and Python. Okay, great. So, Shrinija, today you are here with us to share your hiring experience so that our audience, those who are still preparing for how to get entered into such a big MNC, uh, they should get a slight insight of what is going to happen in the Oracle's hiring experience. Okay, so share each and everything in detail with us so that uh, we could get more out of your interview and we should present it to our audience, right? So first question to you, uh, Shrinija, it is like, uh, was it an on-campus or off-campus drive? It is an on-campus drive. Okay. And it was carried online or offline? Online. Everything online. was online. Okay. So uh, each and every process, uh, assignments, so the uh, interviews were carried on online. Online. Okay. So starting with like, uh, what was the first round and how many rounds were there uh, in the uh, drive? Like how many rounds were there? There were a total of three rounds actually. The very first round was written test, okay. uh, actually a coding assessment. And uh, first question was regarding uh, a normal code, basic code. Uh, we can use it in any, we can write it in any language. And the second question was regarding REST API. Okay. Third question was uh, to write an SQL query. And uh, remaining six, uh, there were an overall of nine questions. Three were coding questions and remaining six were multiple choice questions okay. regarding data structures. So were you able to answer all the questions? Yeah, uh, I was able to answer REST API question and the remaining two were good. SQL query, co coding questions and MCQs were good. Okay. What was the difficulty level of the first round? Uh, it, it was average overall. It was average. Okay. Not very medium difficult. level. Medium. No. Level. Okay. And what was the duration? Like, what was the time frame? A total of nine questions and the time was 105 minutes. Okay. And was there any negative marking? No, there wasn't any negative marking. Okay. So how many, like, uh, what was the test clearance ratio from your college respectively? Like, how many students uh, sit for the drive and how many students were shortlisted for the next round? Around 400 plus uh, students wrote the exam. All branches were eligible. And uh, around 35 people were shortlisted for interview, second round. Okay, from 400, only 35 were uh, shortlisted. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So, moving ahead, uh, like what was the second round? And when was the uh, results for the first round announced? I wrote the exam on 5th of September and the results were announced on uh, 8th and interview was scheduled on 9th. Okay. We should uh, get into like uh, some questions more on first round. Okay. So as you mentioned, yeah. there were nine questions uh, out of which three were coding questions and rest were MCQ type questions. So you mentioned like the second question was from uh, REST API. So uh, can you just tell us more about like uh, how was the first question and what topics were covered and what topics were covered in the MCQs as well? Yeah, the first question was a uh, normal uh, medium level coding question and it can be answered in any language like C, C++, Java, Python, anything was good. And the second question was REST API question. And okay. I didn't answer it, but most of my friends answered it in Python. And third question was SQL query. And okay. remaining six were MCQs uh, based on data structures. All the like questions. time complexity, okay. prefix, postfix, notations and all. Okay. Okay, Srinija. So that's all for the first round. So 
so now moving ahead to the second round what was it and how it was carried on the second uh, second round was basically a technical round and all questions were purely technical they asked us no it was an interview round or it was again one online assessment round no it it is an interview round okay technical interview basically yeah okay so what was the duration of the interview so it was around 45 minutes 45 minutes okay so now we would like to know what questions were put to you yeah yes so the uh, very first question was to introduce myself they asked me to introduce myself and based on my resume and my self introduction they posed me questions okay. and uh, the second question was about my um, project like what is they asked me to give the overall brief summary of my project and uh, the next question was he gave me a question and he asked me to write query the question was to remove duplicates from a table he asked me to write sql query for that and the next was uh, he asked me the use of group by an order by clause and okay. the next one was he asked me if i know oracle database and the next one was he asked me about procedures stored procedure and triggers and then he asked me about if i know uh, oops concepts and he asked me about inheritance types of inheritance and then he asked me about encapsulation and how it is implemented around 10 to 15 questions were asked in the first round of interview okay and here also you were able to answer each and every question yeah i was able to answer every question okay so as i i noticed like more questions were there on sql only sql databases yeah. were put on so what is your job role it is associate consultant consult associate consultant okay so like from uh, after your uh, second inter- like first interview that was technical so after how many days there was a second interview or next round or that was the last round tell yeah, us both were immediate uh, rounds actually okay after the first round i was asked to uh, leave the meeting leave the breakout room and they shifted me to the waiting room and uh, after around 45 minutes i was called to the next next interview okay okay so it means the same day you were selected for the second yeah. round and just after 45 minutes it was scheduled so what was the second type of interview was it technical or hr or any other type of interview it was a combination of both actually technical and hr round okay so can you just uh, go in brief uh, here also yes yes sir uh, firstly they asked me to introduce myself and then he asked me in what language i am comfortable with and i said python then he asked me about lists and list tuple sets and dictionaries and then he asked me what is the difference between lists and tuples and lists and arrays and uh, the all next database was, type of question yeah that data types Uh, next he uh, next he gave me a coding question to uh, to uh, print all the event numbers from the array okay so you need so to present your screen it. ah yes sir we need to present our screen okay uh, he asked me to uh, he he asked me first in which language will you write means i said python firstly i wrote it in python then he asked me to write it in c++ and java as well Uh, okay. luckily i i managed to write in all the three languages then he asked me about my project and what is my role in my project and the difficulties faced during my project and how did i handle it he asked me totally about my project then uh, he posed me a banking question like okay. uh, do you use yono or net banking or upis and all then he asked me about uh, the process do you know about the uh process going on in the background okay he asked me about banking then he asked me about uh, then there was a, he posed me this hr question where do you see yourself in next 5 years mm, he asked me around 10 to 15 questions in this round this round as well it was around 45 minutes okay okay so shrinija what was your overall experience with the hiring drive uh written test was a, a bit difficult not so difficult moderate okay. level and interview can be cracked easily if we prepare well okay so uh, what was your preparation strategy that made you clear the oracle's interview and get a good package 
uh, i was good in python as well as data structures and sql sql is my favorite language luckily he asked me about sql so much in More both my interviews yes yeah okay so any advice is to your uh, juniors or your fellow mates those who are still preparing or preparing for this company any advice yeah. from your side Uh, uh, please don't please don't get frightened uh, by just listening the name oracle like it is a dream company for most of the people and i recommend them to concentrate only on one language it might be python or java or c++ please concentrate on only la- one language and be perfect with the data structures as well it might be uh, in whatever the language you are comfortable with and also please concentrate on database as all database also and uh, based on front end no question was asked mostly okay. questions were asked python data structures as well as sql okay so uh, thank you shrinija for sparing your time and coming here at talent battle and sharing your valuable experience uh, with our audience so once again thank from you. whole team of talent battle i want to uh, to thank you for coming here today and to congratulate you once again on starting your career with oracle So when is your joining you, date, Shrinija? Yeah, uh, they said us no internship will be offered and joining will be after your graduation. Okay, so you are still in your seventh semester. Yeah, yes. Sir. Okay, so best of luck for your career, for your future. We wish you a prosperous and a healthy, wealthy future. So thank, thank you, you Shrinija. So I hope our audience has get a good overview of what is all going to happen at Oracle. But if still you have any questions, you can uh, direct message us at our social media handles at Instagram and other uh, social media handles as well. And if you have any questions related to this specific video, you can comment us down. Thank you. Meet you again in the next video.